Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this one is a little bit longer than the one that I just posted. Uh, we're doing a Zentangle paw print. And since the color of stone that I'm using um, doesn't show up the pencil very well, I'm using a black marker so that you guys can see it a bit better. Um, it's not easy to draw a paw print. It's taken a lot of practice for me. Um, this is how I start off to kind of give myself a basic um, template to work with. So I, I do the, the, the bigger pad first and then I do like uh, the outsides of the smaller pads. Um, you can look on Pinterest or on Google for paw print and get your shape from that. Uh, of course, there's different paw prints to choose from. Cat paw prints, dog paw prints, bear prints, wolf prints with little claws above the, the pads. But today, I'm just making up my own paw print, so this might not look right to you. But um, this is just how I'm doing it. You can make yours look the way you want to. Um, so I've filled in my shape so that you can see it a bit better. And then I'm going to outline it in, in rose gold today. Um, but definitely if you're having issues, draw it out on paper until you get comfortable and then try it on the rock and you can always fix it and reshape it and stuff. Once I show you how to do this. Now, once I've outlined it in the rose gold, I'm actually going to outline that as well in black. Um, so if you need to adjust your paw print at all, um, you, you have room to do that because you can go back and forth with black and gold and, and shape your, your toes and, and your, the larger pad. Um, once you're happy with it, let it dry and then we can use pencil to draw in our Zentangle. Now I, ha I have a Zentangle Dragonfly tutorial. Um, I noticed a lot of people don't know that I have like over 36 tutorials. Um, so check out my channel. There's a lot there, a lot of different techniques that I wanna share with you. Um, from blending to Zentangles, dragonflies, owls, dragon eyes. Um, there's lots to choose from. And plus the resin tutorial and the paintbrush tutorial. They are very helpful. They have saved my life and saved me from having to buy a lot of paintbrushes <laughs> that don't work for me. Um, so now here I'm outlining my rose gold with black. This just makes your paw print stand right off the rock. You don't have to do this part if you're happy with the shape without filling it in the black. You don't have to, it's up to you. You do what you want. Now I'm happy with the shape of mine, even if it's not perfect, um, and I've let it dry. And now I'm using a pencil to draw on some designs. So I'm starting with like a, a little flower in the corner, and I just do like little lines, and you can do whatever you want in each one of these little parts of the paw. Um, and if it's a cat, you can do, um, like a ball of yarn or something that reminds you of your cat. Um, like my cat likes feathers, so you can do a feather. I'm doing a peacock feather because um, if you've seen my rocks, I love peacock feathers. And um, so I incorporate just all the little things, all the little doodles that I like to do. I just incorporate that into the inside of these sections of the paw print. And uh, when I color it in, I'm first going to do it in pencil, but then I'm gonna outline it in rose gold. So do it as detailed or not detailed as you want. You do what you're comfortable with. You can actually just keep it blank and then dot the whole thing in different colors. Like you can do a rainbow of colors throughout it. Um, you don't have to do any Zentangle if you don't want to. Uh, I will show you a couple of different types of my Zentangle paw prints at the end of this video. Um, so now I'm just doodling. You can pause it and take a look what I've done um, if I'm moving too fast or if you just can't really see it very well because of the pencil. Um, it'll be a bit easier to see when it's done. And I've used the rose gold paint. And I, I don't, I'm not using a ruler, I'm not using a stencil, I'm just doing all of this freehand. So it's not gonna be perfect in any way, 
but I'm still going to be happy with it when it's done because it, it just looks like a little like a little jewel when it's done and I am a animal lover I have cats I have I've had dogs my whole life cats my whole life I currently have three cats one dog um, and then I have my two sons which are animals as well um, and I'm just being nice my husband I won't call an animal he's more of a beast no <laughs> I'm just kidding don't tell him that I said that um, so I'm doing like a flower and a leaf and circles and a rainbow, like rainbow lines and a feather. And it's just really random. You can just put whatever you want in there, whatever you want. If there's like, if it's a dog that had like a special bone, you can do a bone and put like a sparkle background with a gold bone um, or really anything you want. Anything at all. So now I'm going over my whole design with rose gold. And then once the rose gold is dry, I fix it up if, if there was parts that were really thick or if I messed it up somewhere, I just go over it with black once the rose gold is dry. You don't wanna try and fix it up while it's still wet. It's just gonna make more work for you. Um, it makes a mess of everything when you try and, and rush it and, and do everything while Trust me, I've learned from my, from my own mistakes, <laughs> and I'm trying to share that with you. So just wait till it's dry. If you want, get your hair dryer out on a low, low setting, like a cool setting. Uh, don't hold it too close, but just kind of gently dry it with your hair dryer on a very cool setting. Uh, some people have found that it'll crack, but I find that if I just hold it far, far enough away and I use a cool setting, my paint doesn't crack at all and it still dries really quick and because I'm impatient when it comes to this. <laughs> now I'm putting dots. You can put dots in places just to kind of fancy it up a little bit. Um, and I'm not going to dot the whole thing, but you know me, if you've been watching my videos, I love to dot stuff. So um, I will be putting some dots in there uh, when I get my colors out. But I'm also going to put some that are just regular paint, fill it in with the paintbrush, that little section. Um, or I'm, I'm going to use different types of paint, so like glitter paint in one section and metallic paint in another section and dots in another section. And you'll see when it's done. But you get to be so creative when it comes to Zen Tangles. You put whatever you want in there. And then you color it whatever colors you want. So I'm not going to list all the colors that I've used in here because there's plenty. Uh, once you see it at the end, you'll understand. But basically, you choose whatever colors you want. I'm not going to tell you what colors to choose. So please, you know, if there's one spot where you're like, that flower, what color is that that you used in that flower? Just message me. I will get back to you as soon as my children and beast of a husband will let me. <laughs> and I'd be happy to answer your questions. But it would take me literally all day to write all the paint colors that I used. And, um, and it takes me long enough to edit one of these videos for you. So... I haven't had a lot of sleep over the last few days. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If I sound loopy, I am. <laughs> so I am just covering everything in rose gold. I'm, I'm going back in with my black paint right now to thin out any thick lines, anything that looked out of place. I fixed it up with the black paint. Now I'm happy with it. Now... Well, I'm just going to fix this part here. looks a little thick. If it looks like an odd paw print, thank you. Um, at least it looks like a paw print. <laughs> so even if it's odd looking, you still know it's a paw print, right? So let's not come for me. Don't, don't come for me because... My paw print's funny shaped. <laughs> I, I painted a frog. A long time ago here's where we choose our colors you choose whatever color you want 
Anyway, I painted a frog a long time ago, like uh, right at the beginning of my rock painting experience. So six, six or so years ago. And I ended up calling this frog Funny Bottom because he had the weirdest butt I've ever seen on a frog in my life. But I kept it that way and I kept his name and I still have him somewhere here. His name is Funny Bottom. And uh, I just thought he was really cute. Why change him? So yeah, if, if my paw print doesn't look like a realistically shaped paw print, I'm okay with that. You can still let me know if you need to, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> now I am filling it in with dots in certain spots. I'm just going to kind of ramble on here, let you know that um, I appreciate every single one of you while I'm dotting in some of my spots here. And I want to thank every single subscriber who has stuck by and waited for my tutorials week after week. Uh, it's really busy right now, especially with both of my animals, I mean children, being home for March break. And uh, they haven't really let me get very much done. And uh, so I hope you guys are happy with these and they give you stuff to do for the next couple of days. Um... The last tutorial was a feather, so if you haven't seen it, please go to my channel and check out all of my videos, because some of them have some really cool techniques that I've taught myself, because I am self-taught, and I want to share it with you, because I think it's cool. And it's made rock painting fun, really fun, and therapeutic, I find, very therapeutic. So I'm just going in with different colors. I've used some color shift paint, which is really new to me. Uh, I never use color shift paint. Um, if you see a color shift, it's because I manually did that with blending brushes. <laughs> so it, it wasn't just out of a bottle. Um, but that color shift paint is very cool. Um, I'm going to be using some glitter paint. Uh, hologram if you haven't seen it, it's Folk Art Hologram 2792 or 2796. I will leave it in the description because I don't know for sure. So Hologram Paint, that will be in the description. All other colors, that's you. You pick all the other colors. Now I am going to do a rainbow up this one. So red, orange, yellow, green, turquoise or teal, blue, purple. It's just going to be a rainbow of dots. And yes, like there will be quite a few dots in this because I love dots. But if you don't like dots, you can just fill it in like blocks of color, blocks everywhere of color. And it still looks amazing. Or, or you don't have to put any color. If you really like it just the way it was in the Zen Tangle with the rose gold or gold, whatever color you want to use. See, here's the hologram 2796. There you go. I'm so smart for doing that. <laughs> Not a genius, but I'm smart for doing that. I'm just covering up those circles with the hologram because that's going to glitter like a, a turquoise glitter of dots over in that corner. It's going to look beautiful. Now, like I said, if you want to leave it with no color and just leave it the gold zen tangle, it looks amazing. It really does. It, it looks beautiful. If that's your thing, you can stop right there and you are done. But please don't be stopping there because I'm going to show you what they look like all colorful and resined and shiny and sparkling at the end. And I'm going to show you a couple of other ones too. So the flower is really simple. I did layer a couple of different colors in the petal, like a dark pink and then a light pink. Um, and in the leaves, I do a, a dark green and then I put like one little line of light green, uh, just to kind of give it a little boost, I guess you can call it. So colorful when they're done though, just gorgeous. It might look like it's frozen, but I was probably trying to get my cat off of my desk. <laughs> I'm actually still trying to work. <laughs> there we go. All this color 
is making me want spring faster and faster here in northern Ontario. I have about five feet of snow on my front lawn and everywhere else I look there's five feet or more. Um, like trees are buried all the way up to their branches like the whole trunk is buried. Um, my dog can't go in the backyard to pee. She's peeing right outside the door because there's nowhere for her to go. Um, so I am really hoping that all this dripping outside isn't just rain, that it's possibly some melting going on as well. So pray for me because I'm not a winter person and this has been one heck of a winter here, I tell you. So this is all filling in nicely. I did some blending, as you can see, I did some sparkles. Um, and when you're done, if you've dotted over the rose gold lines at all, you can go back over with rose gold and fix it. So here I've finished. This is going to look so beautiful in a second because I'm going to resin it. That tutorial will be in the description. Check out my channel for all of my tutorials. I have lots of them that will help you. Um, but first, I'm going to show you the shine. Here it comes. Look at that. Oh, how I wish you could see this in person. It is so beautiful. And here's another one. Just another idea of what you can do. A little different. I still did a feather because I like my feathers. I like my flowers. I like my mandalas. Here is just dots all dots, no sparkle, just dots, just a rainbow of dots.